When it comes to danger, it seems like wind gets all of the attention, but it's the water that kills. Storm surge and freshwater flooding account for 90% of fatalities during tropical storms and hurricanes. The Saffir Simpson scale gives hurricanes a rating from one to five, but that is based on sustained wind speed alone. Right, so they see a category one, they think, oh, that's not that bad. Or they see a category five, and they're like, oh my gosh, that's really intense. It is intense if you're talking about the wind speed, but a very large category one can produce a much greater storm surge than some very strong category fours. Storm surge is essentially the storm pushing the ocean or other body of water inland. How much depends on the size, speed, and wind of each storm. Every storm is different. It can provide a different storm surge. For, we provide a different storm surge forecast for every hurricane. Um, and so there are many places along the coastline are more vulnerable than others. Because while it is strongest on the coast, storm surge can reach homes and businesses that are also miles inland. You can have tremendous impacts from category one or two hurricanes or tropical storms or even tropical depressions in terms of rainfall, especially in Florida. You can have a slow moving tropical cyclone that can dump 25 or 30 inches of rain, cause huge flooding impacts. And that flooding can happen almost anywhere in Florida. So the time to prepare is now. So I think, you know, because there hasn't been a storm to affect them in a very long time, people become complacent. They're not used to it.